Hello everyone and welcome for today's video of Jurassic World Evolution 2, and today we're going to be discussing all the news for the game that has come out this week, including the bad, the good, and the in-between. And yes, this is our first ever um, Jurassic World Evolution weekly news, I'm going to be doing more of these depending on how much news comes out, but I thought we'd start with today. And today we're going to start with the Species Field Guide of the T-Rex. So with that, I say we begin. And for the Species Field Guide, the biggest thing that it showed us is we get to see a kinder side to the dinosaurs. As well, in my um, analysis of the Species Field Guide I did a few days ago, I meant in the clip that shows the two Rexes pushing up against each other with their skulls and stuff, I suggested that they were fighting for dominance. However, many people, including fellow dino YouTubers such as Evolution Square and Swerve, have suggested that they may actually be doing something else, and that they may, may be um, actually playing with each other as sort of a way to show the more lively the dinosaurs are, which is a really unique idea to suggest, since the developers have actually been suggesting that they want to make the dinosaurs feel more lifelike, and I think that if this is the case that they're showing them like fooling around with each other, not like actually just fighting, they're just doing it for fun, then it, it would be really nice to see, and it showed the dinosaurs even better. So I actually like that theory a lot better than the dominance display one. But it still could be the dominance display, I'm not saying now that it isn't. I'm just pointing out another suggestion that many others have come to with that little clip. And of course we got the shot where it was referencing the Lost World, which is the second time they've done it in for the game with um, them confirming that if you pre-order the game you'll get Lost World um, skins for your vehicles, which is awesome. Now, one thing in the trailer that actually confused me is um, when it stated that the T-Rex is only one of the deadliest um, dinosaurs, but not THE deadliest. But then it occurred to me that could it be referencing something? And then I was reminded of the fact that both Spinosaurus and the hybrids have been confirmed for Evolution 2, so it could be that. But then I was think thought of the possibility that it could be teasing like another dinosaur, which could be like the Giganotosaurus, since we know that's the new big enemy of the um, T-Rex. So it is, it is possible that it could be that, but I know it's probably not going to be referencing that, even though I've heard rumors that um, there's going to be um, new dinosaurs from that appeared in the Dominion Prologue that will be in the base game. I don't know if this is true or not, but if it is, then the Giga does have a chance of showing up, so it could be them sort of referencing. It's like, hey, remember Giga? Yeah, he's gonna be back, guys. And I know there was an image that was um, shown a while ago that, like, suggested, um, the Gigas returning, I don't know if it's actually the Gigas, but, you know, it would be interesting to see. And I'm actually going to do a video on my thoughts for Dominion DLC or free update and stuff pretty soon. But, yeah, I don't know what to think about that little bit of news, but they could be... It's a nice foreshadowing to why T-Rex is no longer being considered the most deadliest of the dinosaurs, but it's just one of them. Now, that's it for the Species Field Guide. There weren't any other things that were, like, really big about it. But now we've got some unfortunate news to talk about, which um, came from the gr game creators on their Twitter account, saying that there will not be custom skin patterns anymore. Now, now it's kind of a little upsetting, because, like, they did say, like, very early on in the game's announcement that we would, but then on their forums, they did change it, apparently. I've actually gotten looked and seen. However, they changed it nearly a month ago, and just like this week, like two days ago, I think it was, they said, oh, no, we don't have custom skins. That's something that's a little annoying to me. Like, I'm fine with it not being in the game. Like, I understand that it could be very difficult, because, like, there's, like, over 75 animals in the base game alone, plus the deluxe DLC, and then for future DLCs, including a Dominion one, that'd be a lot of, um, custom skins to have to make, and, like, they don't have all the time in the world. But the fact that they, like, 
said that and then they changed it and then like a month later they just randomly say, oh, we don't have um, custom skins. That's a little unfortunate. Like if when they changed it, it was like August 2nd, apparently. So for me, if they had have like changed it and said, OK, guys, so we made a mistake on our forms with the skin customization. You will be able to change the colors of the skin, including the patterns color, but you won't be able to change the pattern itself, which that that would have been much better if they just came out and said, look, we're sorry we made a mistake, hope it doesn't happen again, and we all would have been like, okay, we forgive you. But the way this happened, it made a lot of people angry, including, like, Swerve, I'm pretty sure, because, like, he made a comment about this on Twitter as well, and from the way he worded it, he sounded pretty mad, and I wouldn't blame him in this case. So, yeah custom patterns are not going to be a thing we still will be able to change the um color of the base skin as well as the pattern that's on them so it won't just be like oh we can change it to this pattern and then change the color of that pattern as well we just have one pattern or base pattern and then you can change the colors for those that's what they've said hopefully it's not been changed again but that's just me and one more bit of sad news for some people, like me, is that I recently heard about this. Mixed Eras will be coming, but it's not going to be for games like consoles like PS4 or one of the Xbox um, machines. I can't remember which one, which that's a little strange because, like, I don't know why they aren't doing that if they are doing Mixed Eras completely. Because, like, in gameplay that, like, Game Beaver, Best and Slot have done, you've seen that they can change the style of buildings to be Jurassic Park themed or Jurassic World themed. So I don't understand why that wouldn't be a, the case for, um, PS4 or Xbox. I, I don't understand that. But that's a little bit of more unfortunate news, which I, I don't know, guys. This week hasn't been the best news, apart from the T-Rex, which, like, is, like, the best thing so far, because, like... Again, as I'll say, I was completely surprised that we had the T-Rex DLC. But, you know, that's what it is. We we have to make do. But next week is actually looking like it's going to be pretty big because the final bit of news we have is on the Twitter of Evolution 2, again, um, they announced that something big is being planned for next week. And... I also love that in the comments, many people were asking for um, them to give a little hint on what it is or just to tell them. And I literally was just like, oh, I'll go in the comments and say, hey, hey, they can't spoil it. It ruins the surprise. And just, it's kind of funny. It's like every comment's like, what is it? What is it? Come on, tell me. You got to tell me. They can't tell you people. There is no point in them telling the surprise before it happens because then there's no surprise. But I don't know what it actually is. I do have some theories, like, besides the species field guide, which I think depending on how big the news is, there won't be a field guide, but I think that's a little bit strange, seeing how we had a huge gap a few weeks ago for species field guides between Changesaurus and Mosasaurus. There was, like, almost three weeks of a gap between them. But anyway, that's just me. I think they shouldn't go for that. But... I think what could be coming is possibly the second Dev Diary, because it's been like quite a while since we got, I think like just under two months it was since we got the last one. And since it sh the first one showed so much news, like we got like, I think like 20 new dinosaurs confirmed in that alone, which was a lot. Like, I can't remember all the dinosaurs that were confirmed, but like we got that, we got looks at some of the um, gameplay, some of the behavioral stuff as well. But I think that because like it was so big last time, I think it'll be big again. So that's why I'm thinking it could be the Dev Diary. It could be something else, but I don't know. But whatever you guys think, I'd love to hear them all in the comments below for your thoughts on what next week's big thing could be or things, you know, we don't know. But that's all the news for this week, guys. Not too much, more sad news than good news, but as I just said, looks like um, next week will be very exciting. I can't wait to see what it is. But if you've enjoyed this um, little news update, 
I'd appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, as we're almost at 1.5 thousand subscribers, I believe. Be safe, and until the next um, video, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!